students you have already observed plant cells in an onion peels where you found most of the cells were of uniform shape and structure today we are going to talk about and study about tissues what is meant by tissues tissue means a group of similar cells performing a particular function now observe this plant this plant is having roots stem and leaves each of these organs of this plant is made up of tissues and plant tissues are mainly of two types meristematic tissues dividing cells and permanent tissues of non dividing cells permanent tissues are further divided into simple and complex tissues simple tissues can be grouped into parenchyma collenchyma and sclerenchyma whereas xylem and phloem are the examples of complex tissues so today students we will be studying about parenchyma and sclerenchyma in a temporary stained slide for this what do we require we require the plant stem of a herbaceous plant and this stem should be soft and it should be cut into about 3 cm pieces and put in water we require some watch glasses slides cover slips needle forceps brush blade dropper stain as saffrony and mounting for mounting we require glycerin now let us start the cutting of the section of a stem for this you need to hold the stem in your left hand in an upright condition and hold this razor blade in your left hand and hold it at right angles to the uh, axis of the stem and try to cut very thin sections of the stem as thin as possible and then put these in water so here you can see i have cut sections of the stem and put it in water now we want to stain these sections for this we'll take saffronine stain and dilute it with some water and put these sections in saffronine stain keep it for 1 or 2 minutes and then take it out in a watch glass having water so this these sections are then transferred to a watch glass containing water after this these sections are put on a slide a drop of glycerin is put and on this drop the section is put and this needs to be covered by cover glass now this section has been mounted the stain section has been mounted in glycerin and now it is ready to be observed under the microscope 
focus it under low power of microscope and try to see the structures visible. You can find that the section is circular in outline and there is a thin walled epidermal layer and next to the epidermis we find the hypodermis and next to hypodermis is the cortex and then there is a ring of vascular bundles. Internal to the ring of vascular bundles there is a pith. So, here we find that the pith and the cortex consists of very thin walled cells. These thin walled cells consists of cells having circular outline and they are loosely arranged, they have intercellular spaces, they have large lumen and they are living cells. Such thin wall cells are called as parenchyma. Now, in contrast to this, we have thick wall cells as well. In the hypodermis and some of the cells of the cortex are thick walled. These thick wall cells have angular outline, they are compactly arranged, they are they do not have intercellular spaces and they have narrow lumen. So, such thick walled cells which are having these characteristics are called as sclerenchyma. So, students today you have seen two types of tissues, one parenchyma consisting of thin walled cells and the other sclerenchyma consisting of thick walled cells. On the basis of some of the characteristics, you can compare these two types of tissues. Number one, whether the cell wall is thick or thin. Number two, whether they are loosely arranged or compactly arranged. Number three, whether they are having large lumen or they are having narrow lumen whether they are living or they are dead cells and uh, next is whether they are having circular outline or angular outline. So, you can prepare a table comparing the characteristics of these two types of tissues based on your observations that is the parenchymatous cells tissue and the sclerenchymatous tissue. So, uh, in short, we can say that we can differentiate between parenchyma and sclerenchyma on the basis of certain characteristics. Number one, parenchyma cells are thin walled, sclerenchyma cells are thick walled. Parenchymatous cells, they are having, uh, they are uh, loosely arranged. Uh, and they have intercellular spaces. Sclerenchymatous cells, they are compactly arranged and they do not have intercellular spaces. Next, because the parenchyma cells, they are having thin walls, their lumen is large, whereas in sclerenchymatous cells, their lumen is uh, narrow because of their thick walls. And lastly, their the parenchyma cells they are living and sclerenchyma cells they are dead. So, uh, this is how we are able to distinguish between two types of plant tissues parenchymatous and sclerenchymatous. Thank you.